Spring is here and so is tick season. Already the creepy, crawly and potentially dangerous creatures are making an appearance in central North Carolina. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is digging deeper into what we can expect. The grass is green and people are out enjoying the sunshine. But the warm weather also brings out some less enjoyable parts of spring. It seems when the pollen comes, they come. Tick season is here, and don't be surprised to see plenty. If we have a mild winter, there's going to be a greater latitude for survival of a lot of things through the winter. But Bill Reynolds with the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences says the tick population depends on more than the weather. You've got a really good set of acorns or foods, seeds, nuts for rodents, mice, voles. Um, you may expect to see more ticks the following year. Now, I'm a scoutmaster with my son's Boy Scout troop, so we do a lot of camping, and it's one of the things that I always ask the boys to be aware whenever they're out in the woods. We usually think about ticks when we're spending a lot of time outdoors, maybe hiking or camping, but really, they can be anywhere. Ticks are going to be anywhere where you've got other animals. So in, in areas, neighborhood, residential areas, forests, I mean, even peripherally here in the city. My wife uh, actually got bit by one and had, had some complications from it, but no, nothing major. But some ticks in North Carolina do carry disease, including Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. According to the CDC, nationwide there were nearly 60,000 cases of tick borne diseases reported in 2017. If you are bitten, Bill suggests preserving the tick in a container filled with alcohol, taking a photo of it, and writing down the date. Many of these ticks, tick borne diseases, they have pretty specific windows of when the symptoms begin to appear. It's important to check yourself, your kids, and your pets when you come inside. And if you don't like ticks, hopefully you do like some other animals that come out in the spring. Tolerate your frogs, your lizards, and your snakes. Tolerate your birds because a lot of those, and especially your possums. He says they keep the tick population in check. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.